never shut anybody off for time, so. <laughs> you want to be the first? <laughs> Back to the budget. No. Street. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. This is great. Um, scratches on one vehicle it looks I mean it's it's not horrible but you know what it's it's it shouldn't be that bad. Um, I had a vehicle requiring uh, repair to a wheel well two year old car that wheel well fuel bearing you know the guy's like look you got rocks in the car almost here clean it up um, and then uh, let's see then we got people tracking car you know car and rocks into our house we got some carpeting that's just you know it's just messy um, the drainage troughs are really really full of rock um, my car is parked outside Dropped off 30 uh, surveys down Castile Drive. We hit some of the houses on the corner. Um, we offered a free car wash for the mayor. Um, you know, the first one to turn. Um, out of 30, we got 20 back. And I think that's pretty good. That's good. Um, mm -hmm. I think the census place is good. But um, we had some questions on there. And the uh, first question was an agree, neutral, disagree. It was, I'm satisfied with the chip seal paving job created. Uh, Green line represents those who chose agree, and I'm not out of green yet. It's uh, 19 to disagree and two neutral. Um, our second one, our street should be paved with standard blacktop style paving. 19 agree, one disagree. Statement three, I thought we'd do a little better here. I'd be willing to pay increased property taxes in order to have our road blacktop. No Eight, <laughs> 18 no, our taxes are already higher than most in the village. Uh, our road should be paved with blacktop without additional taxes. Three, no, if it means higher taxes, our road should be chip sealed. Two, yes, I'm one of them. Um, finally, in the survey that I brought to everybody, uh, I said I'd bring their comments to the board. I have a few of them. I think there's some that uh, require particular attention. Um, I'll read them 
word for word as being their spelling is correct. Um, Dust last summer in a car and house, car in our car, car in our dog. Uh, tar and house camper, chips on a driveway after plowing in snow, uh, 20 feet from the road. I'm sorry, stones 20 feet from the road. House full of dust, stones all over the front lawn, clogging up gutters and street. Dust, dust in house, scratches on windshield. Um, our son fell several times on his bicycle, spilled several pounds of lunch in the mailbox. We have no sidewalks. Our son cannot ride his bike on the road or rollerblade with a skateboard due to actual cannot be shoveled in the road. Uh, raking a lot of gravel off our lawn. Dust, 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 lots of exclamation marks. Um, check out Stephen Forrest, it's a mess. Dust over the outside and inside of my house, especially bad in the summer. Car damage, very dusty, lawn mess, car and car, chip paint job. Um, the job done was not as good as other years. My daughter caught her knee in a bike accident, had to go for treatment at the emergency room. Dust and stones. Um, I'd like to name my property value and pay a little bit every year. I don't know many people that shovel dust. Um, stones and tar in the house. Difficulty walking with a stroller, dust. Um, never liked this process. Uh, the cul-de-sac when it's all done. Goes on and on. Um, you know, it, mostly about the snow and the rock. Um, I, I understand it's a, it's a tough issue. I'm not here to say you know what you're doing. You're doing this, and you know, I understand the black that you know blacktop and tar. Um, from the little bit of research I've done, it appears that it wasn't done properly on the street, and it certainly shouldn't be having this problem. Um, so I have two proposals for tonight. One fix the current problem. Um, it's still dusty. There's still rocks on the side of the road. Um, and the stone that was used in the process, I don't know if it's different from other years, but it's still dusty. Um, hopefully it's gonna get nice this year. And considering how much it rained last year, I was really surprised at how much dust we had on that. Um, the sides of the roads need to be cleaned because some kid moves out of the way of a car and just goes for it. Because he's gonna slip and he's gonna fall. Um, the second is, I'd ask that you guys consider the impacts and side effects that these paving jobs have on now, it's a little bit more money, but when we sit down and start talking about cleaning our house and taking our kids and our dogs to the vet, dogs are gross, um, <laughs> you know, and, and fixing our car and everything like that, spending all this time raking rocks back into the street, um, that really needs to be taken into account. And, and I really think that the street department folks who are out there really moving and, and, and really working um, need the equipment, need the money, need the training, um, and need the support of the village to get out there and provide taxpayer, one of the services that I really need is out of my tax money. The street, the parks, things like that. Mm -hmm. So um, that's all I have to say. If you guys have any questions about me or like to see the list of comments or surveys from anybody, I certainly can provide those to the village. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> While we're here, um, I have to tell you, I don't know who it was I talked to on your street. I thought it was your number that I called. Uh, and I followed up on, the concern was that this street has been oil and stone more than every four or five years. Okay. That it has been a pretty regular one on the list, Jack. Is this something, well, I mean, the idea with oil and stone was it would preserve pavements for a while. Are we at a point where we have to start looking at the problems that have been left up there for a number of years 